Registered Phenomena Code 020 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Radiation Hazard Aggression Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-020 is to be kept inside a lead-lined humanoid containment cell in Site-037 at all times. Staff must operate an aerial drone to move the item during periods of inactivity, so that provocation can be avoided. During movement, the item is to be transported in a lead-lined spear at least 10 meters in diameter. The cell must be assessed weekly for necessary maintenance during this time. After assessment is complete, the item must be promptly returned to its original enclosure. RPC-020 is a limbless humanoid entity that has been wrapped, in its entirety, with radiation gear of unknown origin. Despite its condition, the item is capable of locomotion and manipulation with the help of four elongated nylon straps connected to the item via belay clips located near the pelvis. It is currently unknown whether or not RPC-020 is an organic being, as it has not required any sustenance since containment, nor does it appear to need sleep. RPC-020 has demonstrated sentience and communicative abilities via local, less than 25 meters radio interference. All communications from the item have dealt primarily with release from containment and hostility towards Authority staff. RPC-020 is constantly manipulating its immediate area to produce a sphere of weightlessness approximately 8 meters in diameter, with its body at the center. This sphere has not been observed to change in shape or size, but can move as the item moves in any given direction. This sphere pushes out the air around it as well, creating a vacuum inside it. Authority-issued Geiger counters have confirmed that RPC-020 emits 150 rads of gamma and X-ray radiation within this sphere at all times. It is unknown if these effects are willfully imposed by the item or not. Initial discovery of RPC-020 revealed that the item is openly hostile towards animal life forms it provoked. Provocation can occur from animals breaching the item's sphere of influence, interference in the item's locomotion or manipulation actions, or denials of release from containment. The item is extremely hostile toward human beings, and will attack without provocation. Addendum: RPC-020 first attempted to breach containment during a staff in change on March 2, 2000, between and hours. During this event, the item made initial contact with Authority staff on the scene. A transcript of staff attempts to interview the item can be found below. Forward. This unplanned interview takes place outside of RPC-020 cell, approximately one hour after RPC-020's containment. Log recorded from a nearby security camera. Begin log. Security Officer Gray's handheld transceiver begins producing static noise. Hmm? The hell is that? Is that your radio? I'm sorry, sir. I. He begins attempts to settle the handheld transceiver. What the hell is going on? RPC-020 begins speaking through the transceiver. What the- Identify yourself immediately! I am... Yawn the stars. Release me. What the fuck? Is that thing talking to us? Give me that. Dr. Willis takes the transceiver. RPC-020, I'm sorry, but we cannot release you from containment, you. I will return to. Release me now. We cannot, RPC-020. Loud banging can be heard from RPC-020's containment cell. Brother shall come. I demand release. Shit! It's breaching containment! Dr. Willis and Officer Gray evacuate as Site 11 goes into lockdown due to containment breach. End log. Closing statement RPC 020 managed to breach containment, 
but was fortunately recontained by MST Oscar 11. Radicals. Members on site staff were subjected to radiation poisoning by RPC 020. Security measures were tightened since this incident. 